In this video, I'm going to be showcasing Risen's free process lowering pack that can boost your FPS and actually help you out in your games so much. So to download this, you just want to head over to Risen's Discord, head over to the process lowering tab on the left hand side where it says free tweaks and then click the Risen's process lowering pack fix.raw. Click continue to download and then you'll get this zip file. You just want to extract this. Once you've extracted it, it should look something like this. So so the first thing is create a restore point that's self-explanatory just create a restore point before you do this so if you don't like the tweaks you can always revert back next thing we're going to be doing is system configuration so just double click on this click open and then from here you're going to be heading over to boot advanced options tick number of processors and make sure you select the absolute highest number just to make sure all the cores are running in your cpu giving you the lowest delay possible and blowing your processors once you've done that click apply click yes once you've done that, just click OK, and we're going to be heading over to the task manager. Click open. And then from here, you're going to head over to startup apps and make sure everything you don't want starting up when your PC boots up disabled. So as you can see, I have literally everything disabled apart from Vanguard in here. So just make sure you disable everything. This will really lower your processors when your PC comes on because you're not going to be having all that unnecessary stuff open in the background. The next one is disable printer services so you just want to right click this bat file click run as admin more info and run anyway and this will just disable all of the printer services inside windows because as you know the more services that are running inside windows the higher your processes are meaning the higher delay you have so click ok and just enter on your keyboard to go back then we're going to be disabling microsoft store services this is if you don't use anything from the microsoft store I do, so I'm not going to do this, but same process, just right click, run as admin, more info, run anyway, and the Microsoft Store services will disable. Then we're going to be disabling Bluetooth. Most people could do this, you only don't want to disable this if you have a wireless headset. If you have a wireless mouse, you can do this because you've got a chip that you plug into your computer, it's not fully Bluetooth, so run this as admin, run anyway, and as you can see, it's disabled it in seconds. Now we're going to be disabling all of the useless services, so run this as an admin and it will just disable all of the services we don't want and don't need on our PC. Once it's done this, click enter and we're going to be going back and we're going to be doing the auto runs, so just run this as an admin. And as you can see, this is everything on your PC that opens when your PC boots up. So it's a bit more advanced than the task manager, but you just need to go through and disable everything you don't want opening up when your PC turns on. So as you can see, Opera GX, I thought I had this disabled in Task Manager, but I don't. So I'm going to disable this. Right, Vanguard, that's still enabled. Google Chrome, we don't want that opening. Malware Bytes, we don't want that opening. And other Malware Bytes, make sure you disable. Make sure you disable everything you don't want opening. And these things like IETO Edge, we want to disable these. And the same goes for like the Google Chrome updaters, you don't want these opening either. Go through absolutely everything you don't want opening, make sure it's disabled. And once you've done that, all you need to do is click X, restart your PC, and you'll notice that your processes are much lower next time you turn your PC on. That is going to be it for this video, guys. I do hope you did enjoy. Make sure you go check out Reason's channel and his Discord. I'll leave that link in the description. But if you did find it helpful, make sure you drop a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.